Hi everyone, I'm Claudia Gutierrez. I want to introduce our presentation about Jupiter Archer of Exploration and the time of Thomas Harriot. And I will work together with Luis Osorio. Well, the literature of exploration had history taking a different turn the United States easily could have been a part of the great Spanish or French overseas empires. Its percent inhabitants mean speak Spanish and for one nation with Mexico, or speak French and be joined with Canadian, Francophone, Quebec, and Montreal. Yet the earliest explorer of America were not English, Spanish, or French. The first European record of exploration in America is in a Scandinavian language. The Old Norse Vinland saga recounts how the adventurous Leif Erikson and a band of wandering Norsemen settled briefly somewhere on the northeast coast of America probably Nova Scotia, in Canada. In the first decade of the 11th century, almost 400 years before the next recorded European discovery of the New World. The first known and sustained contact between the Americans and the rest of the world, however, began with the famous Voyage of an Italian explorer, Christopher Columbus, founded by the Spanish rulers Ferdinand and Isabella. Columbus' journal in his Epistola Print in 1593 recounts the trip's drama, the terror of the men who feared monsters and thought they made fall of the age of the world. The near Munich, how Columbus faked the ships locks so the men would not know how much farther they had traveled than anyone had gone before. And the first sighting of land as they near America. Bartolomé de las Casas is the richest source of information about the early contact between American Indians and Europeans. As a young priest, he helped conquer Cuba. He transcribed Columbus' journal and late in life wrote and long vivid history of the Indians criticizing their enslavement by the Spanish. Initial English attempts at colonization were disastrous. The first colony was set up in 1585 at Roanoke, off the coast of North Carolina. All its colonies disappeared, and to this day legends are told about blue-eyed Croatian Indians of the area. The second colony was more permanent. Jamestown, established in 1607, it endured starvation, brutality, and misrule. However, the literature of period paints America in glowing colors as the land of riches and opportunity. Accounts of the colonization became world renowned. The exploration of Round Oak was carefully recorded by Thomas Harriot in a brief and true report of the new found land of Virginia in 1588. Harriot's book was quickly translated into Latin, French, and German. The dates and pictures 
were made into engraving and widely republished for 200 years. And who is Thomas Harriot? Let us see you through the next slices and be attentive. Harriot had learned the rudiments of Algonquian language from two native brought back to England from an early exploration, and he served as his interpreter and liaison with the native people of the surrender region. His brief and true report focuses largely upon the native inhabitants, giving much valued information on their food sources, agricultural methods, living arrangements, political organization and religion. Harriot's thirty thousand word account also gives many details of the merchantable commodities, plants, animals and economic opportunities to be found there. Writing by an ethnographer and natural scientist who was an integral part of the first English attempt at American colonization. The brief and true report, it is far the most important early English account of North America. Now my partner Luis wanna share about the content of the Thomas book and it is called a brief and true report of the Newfoundland of Virginia. So let's start. Here is one team manifestations, chronicles of travelers and economy stars. A brief and true report of the Newfoundland of Virginia in 1588 by Thomas Harriot, a true relation of Virginia, 1688, map of Virginia, 1612, and the journal history of Virginia, New England, and the summer in 1624 by John Smith. Characteristics was uh, geographical accounts of the Newfoundland. The intention was to inform readers about the colonial enterprise in the New World. Virginia was the uh, field destination and provide and was their main motivation. Chronicles have historical interest. They provide data about the history of colonization. Three chronicles relate facts such as in 165. Here is a motive attempt to establish an English statement in what is now mainly. 1607, first permanent in this installment called Jamestown, Virginia, founded by the London Company, and the seller shows the allocation close to the water, hoping to establish a trading community. When the Europeans arrived, the land was already inhabited by different tribes. Native Americans did yield easily to the newcomers, issues for ownership and land occupations, became areas of conflict, agriculture, versus hunting. Native Americans began to fight this encouragement. The Indians in the eyes of the Europeans Native Americans had a rich oral literature, but not writing literature among the more than 500 tribes. The fact that the native population did not have a system of writing was perceived as a sign of their inferiority. This reinforced the idea that America was meant for the Euro Euro 